Hey friends, <clears throat> excuse me, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for your patience with me getting a, this video out. I have been under the weather um, the last couple weeks, so um, just trying to get back to a regular routine um, and get everything going, so I appreciate your patience while I've been working on getting this video out to you. Um, <clears throat> so today I wanted to share with you um, the things that I'm going to be using in 2024. Um, I have very much simplified the list. I sh showed you a lot of things. Um, if you've watched my videos, any of my other videos, um, during like the 12 days of Christmas, a lot of things that would be good and useful um, to use in 2024. Um, but that's a lot of things. And I had really gotten to the place where I was trying to decide what items I actually wanted to use and you know if I spend one to two hours a day on my quiet time I don't want the entire time spent um, completing tasks and checking off boxes uh, because then I've completed a lot of things and checked a lot of boxes but haven't really grown my relationship with the Lord that much. So I decided to simplify things and really just cut back on the amount of things that I would be doing this year. And instead of going for quantity, going for quality. Um, and so that is what I'm doing this year. And I'm going to show you the things that I've selected to use. Um, of course, I've shown you this Bible bag, this, I still will be using this for church, um, and in it, I have my Courage for Life Bible, I will still be using that, um, and I will still be using these Click Art, um, pastel markers in that Bible, um, so you can go back and rewatch. um, this video if you want to see what all I had in here at that time. Right now, the Bible, those um, click art pens and a zebra blend pen are the only things that I have in this case. Um, now, I will add um, a little notebook to take notes in from church. And then, you guys know, um, then I, I write sloppy at, when I'm trying to take notes at church. So, then I come home and use this this sermon notes um, to put my notes in, rewrite my notes where they're neater. Um, so I will continue doing that. There is a review on this as well, so you can go back and see that. So I will be using that still. And then at home, I will be using the Gratitude Finder. I do have a review on this. And the pens that I'm using in here are just the Toll or Tool pens. Um, this is a set that you can get that's metallic, and then there's a set of four that just has the, um, um, what is this called, leopard print on it. Um, so I will be using those, and this is basically just, you can go in and each day of the week, write something that you're thankful for, um, if you have a random act of kindness. Um, some days is set, or some weeks it's three people whom I'm ever so grateful for, and then other days it's three ex or other weeks it's three experiences. So you can keep those things. And then the one thing that I do with this is the word of the week, whatever word I choose for that week. Um, so it might be um, contentment or it might be gratitude or whatever. I try to find um, a verse and write that in there with it as well. So I'll continue to use this throughout the year. Um, the next thing that I will be using um, for 2024 is my Daily Grace Co. products. So I will be using the Daily Grace Prayer Calendar and the Bible Plan, Study Plan Worksheets. Um, I've got a video on all of these, so just go back and check those out. Most of these items are linked in um, in the videos where I reviewed them. But just to give you a look inside of this, 
you start each month where you can put in your personal goals and your spiritual goals. Then you have a month of memory verses um, and prayers, Monday through Friday, things to pray for. And then at the end of the month of what you learned in the month of February. Um, and that goes through the entire year of 2024. So I will be using that. I will also be using my Behold Bible Study Plan. This is going through, this is their reading plan for this year. There is a review on this. Um, and this goes through um, the New Testament, one chapter a day, Monday through Friday, throughout 2024. So I will be using the um, Bible study um, material and the journals. So the Bible study material, basically, um, whatever day you've got, you read that chapter, then you read your material, answer your questions, and then let's see if I can get to an end of the week here. I have a review on this too, so you can go look at this as well. I just wanted to show you very quickly. At the end of the week, you have an end of the week reflection and a week application. Um, and then you have the journal that goes with that where you can keep your notes um, of things that you found interesting in the, the reading or in this or from the podcast because they do have a podcast that goes along with this as well. Um, so there's that that I'll be doing. These are the click art. You know from the, if you watch the video where I reviewed these, um, there was like a set of four. So the light set I'm using in um, this journal or Bible study book to um, underline, kind of highlight for that. Um, they work really good in here because the slicky pages, some kind of, some pens don't work good in there. So I do use these and I use a zebra blend pen as well with this. So I will be doing that. The Bible that I'm using to read from while I'm doing my studies is this one. It is a Holy Bible ESV English Standard Version. I just purchased this. Um, of course, I got it at Mardell. Um, so there is the information on this. If you, let me see if I can get that to show up there. If you're interested in looking for this one, um, I didn't I didn't order it online. I bought it in person, so you can look and see um, if you have Mardell locally, or if you want to look that up. It's basically just the large print personal size Bible in the English Standard Version, um, and it is a 12 point type. I'm not going to read all that. If you want to pause the video and read that, you're welcome to do that. <clears throat> I am still trying to save my voice a little bit here because I'm just now getting it back. But um, it does have the gold gilding on the edges. And it's just a basic Bible. It has your regular stuff in the front. There's no really frills or extras with this. It does have a pretty decent concordance. Um, and then you can see the print is very large print. It's a 12-point type, which is great. I really love that. And it does have the words of Christ in red, which I really like as well. One thing I do like about this Bible is the words are like a deeper burgundy color. So if you highlight over them, you can still see them. And then I will show you back here at the back. There's a page of um, weights and measures. These are the highlighters that I'm using in this Bible. You can get these from Amazon. Um, and just search for that Z-E-Y-A-R, Zayer, window view highlighters. You can buy just the cream color, just the vintage color, or a double pack of two. Um, so, these are the highlighters I'm using in this Bible. I've tested them here in the back. Really, when I looked at them online, I thought the vintage colors were going to be lighter than the cream colors, but they're not. These are the cream colors over here, and then these are the vintage colors, which I like them both, and I will use them both in here. And then you can see on the back, 
there's no bleed through at all. Um, there is some shadowing. I don't mind either one. So I probably will use them both in this Bible. Um, so I will be using that with the study. And then I'm also going to be doing, I'm not going to just be in the New Testament. Since that study is in the New Testament, I will also be doing a couple of other things. Um, so I'm going to be going through, I just printed this out from Bible Vise. You can Google this. It's just a Psalm 60 day reading plan. I'm probably not going to finish it in 60 days. That's not my goal to check the boxes. I'm just going to go use it kind of as a guide and go through and mark off the Psalms as I read them. So I'm going to try to read at least one or two Psalms a day. Um, and then I have a little journal that I'll be using um, for notes for that. It's just a basic journal. I picked this up probably, I don't know, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, someplace like that. I really don't know. Um, I have a lot of journals that I just, when I go somewhere and see something really that I like, a color or design or whatever, I just buy it and stick it on my shelf. And then when I'm ready for a journal, I select from those to pull off from um, and, and use. So I'll be using this and just going through the songs. And then also um, I will be um, doing another Bible study with my church. We have um, life groups on um, at our church. And so I'll be doing a life group. Bible study. Um, it'll start in February, so I'll share that with you when I have that material. Um, and then that will also have me more than just in the New Testament throughout um, throughout the year is the, the studies that I do with our church. Um, and then I have this that I got from Erin Condren. Um, this is not, I, the case is Erin Condren, the calendar is not. Um, as you know, I purchased this um, calendar from Mardell back in the fall. And I really, really love it. It's got a scripture for every week and then the week layout. Um, so I just kind of tucked it in here and I'll be using this. And it also has like monthly calendars in the in the beginning if you wanted to use those but I was carrying my purse and you can see it's kind of getting already ratty and it's only January because I've been using it since October when it started so I got that and I put in here in my zebra blend pen and then um, these are the highlighters that I use for my calendar um, so they're the Mr. Pen retractable and I kind of color code. I have a highlighter for school, church, appointments, personal things, um, work, those kind of things. And so they're in the, um, this is not a Mr. Pen. This is just kind of a generic. I do have a review on these. You can go back and see. Um, but this is just one of the generic ones. I do have some of the Mr. Pen ones. Um, but they're hard to carry in some things because they're so much bigger. If you see the difference in size here. Um, so I just tuck these in here. And I'm just going to put it in there. And keep that with that. Because that's what I use. Um, that's what I use for my planner. So I'll be using that. And then the other thing I have is. Um, I got these little. This notebook set from Amazon. Um, a while back. And it's just got the, like, peach color, a green color, and a cream color notebooks, little, little spiral notebooks. Sorry, that's kind of loud and rattly. Um, and they're just thick paper with a little floral leaf design at the bottom. It's got the gold on the front, if you can see that. And the way that I'm going to use this is whatever book I'm reading... I know some people will um, take notes out of the books that they're reading that they'll um, that they'll like. Um, let me see if I can show you. Like, so like they'll take something that they've highlighted, and then they'll transfer it to notes, and then like take that into their Bible. I don't do that. I don't also. I also don't take notes from books in my Bible. Um, I like to keep a separate notebook so that I can keep all of those notes together. Um, and so that's what I'm going to be using this for. 
And then the last thing, I will still be using this Bible. This is the KJV um, uh, note-taking Bible. Um, and I will still be using this because as I am studying, if there's something that I pull out, from the Psalms or from the New Testament that I really want to include in my journaling Bible, then I will add that in here as well. Um, so yeah, so those are several things that I'm going to be using. Um, the two Bibles, the two main Bibles that I'll be using at home. And then of course my Courage for Life Bible, um, because I really like that. Go back and watch that video. That's if you looking for a good um, study Bible, uh, not really study Bible, um, thought-provoking Bible. That's what that is. That's a thought-provoking Bible because it has um, like an inductive method at the bottom of each page that pulls from Scripture and asks questions and really gets you thinking. Um, I'll be using all these things, um, my markers, my Behold plan. Um, of course, you know my favorite pens are the zebra blend pens i'll be using those um but yeah those are the things that i am planning on using i'm just stacking up here um but these are all the things that i'm planning on using and i'm planning on having just a, a section of my desk um kind of tucked away um with all the things that i can just pull out and study when i'm doing my quiet time, and then, of course, my church bag to take with me as well. So, um, if you have any questions about any of the products that I've shown you, please leave them down below. Um, if you've bought any of these things or using any of these things um, and like or even don't like, please share those below, too, because um, those are things that will help people that maybe come and watch the video know what they want to purchase or don't want to purchase based off of, you know, Maybe I love these pens and you have a particular Bible when they bleed through and you leave that down below and somebody else that comes and watches the video has that same Bible and they would know not to buy those pens because they're going to bleed through their pages. So any advice that you can give, I'm um, down below. Um, and I am going to be trying to do like a weekly video now instead of twice a week um, just because with school and work and church um i want to make sure that i balance my time well um and then i'm a good steward of the time that i have um and so i will be trying to do at least hopefully one video a week and um so yeah those will be the things that i'm using that's my plan for coming up Oh, I'm also got these too. I forgot to show you these. I ordered some of these six inch rulers from um, Mr. Pen that you, I'm going to use for like just underlining and in my Bible and things like that just to keep it kind of neat. So, um, yeah, that's all. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience um, while I was getting this video prepared. And um, while I've been sick. So I uh, just uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Be blessed and be a blessing to someone today.